When it comes to RV roofs, you might find them full of uh, unpopular opinions. One of my most divisive opinions is when it comes to installing a roof membrane on the front and rear termination or caps. Most people will say the manufacturer of the roof and of the RV insists that the front uh, flap of the roof, the uh, membrane to be underneath the front wall so that as you're driving down the road, there's no air infiltration underneath uh, the membrane. But that doesn't even make any sense because that front wall isn't weatherproof or windproof. But my problem with it is the number one cause of front walls rotting out is uh, this termination bar right here inevitably comes loose at some point. And now when the membrane is underneath the wall right there, the water tra travels along the membrane underneath the wall and starts rotting out the front cap. So that's why I like to put the membrane on top of the wall, acting like a shingle or flashing, so that when this termination, if the screws ever let go and the water tries to get underneath that molding, it's just going to go on top of the membrane and then it'll be on top of the wall right here and still go out and never goes inside the wall. You still want to have putty tape underneath the termination bar. And we're just going to go ahead and put the termination bar right on top. Then we'll screw it down so that the roof is on top of the metal here underneath the transition bar here. You can see it uh, oozed out putty pretty well. It's a good sealant. Ugh. All right, so that termination strips all the way down now. We have sealant oozing out everywhere. Now I'll just take a razor blade and I'll cut off the excess. Just like this was an exterior sidewall, that's exactly the exact same process that we would be doing. On the gutter molding right there too. It's still going over the top and on top of the uh, sidewall. So if air is an issue coming in from underneath the molding here, which again, it shouldn't be, because it's screwed down tightly. That argument would be the exact same with air coming from the side underneath the gutter right there. We don't ever worry about that. But because I have the membrane over the top of the front wall here, now, if water does get underneath the molding because this comes loose, it's actually gonna be directed on top of the wall here instead of inside the wall. But I do imagine there will be a number of people that will still say, I'm wrong about that opinion. Now, of course, we still have to come back to the lap sealant and seal the rest of this trim all the way around. But I'm not quite to that step yet.